This is another indicator of violation of constitution of Bosnia and Herzegovina and in international acts by high representative. As an, as an example, I will offer you the fact that as an ethnic Jew from Bosnia and Herzegovina in this new electoral system imposed by the high representative, will have no equal rights, opportunities, or chances to adequately participate in the electoral process. In Bosnia and Herzegovina, it is obvious that someone is trying to create an environment based on the premise that equal but separate, which is based on racial and ethnic discrimination, in which was rejected decades ago just as all the elements of apartheid were rejected, which unfortunately through the interventions of high representatives are trying to impose in Bosnia and Herzegovina political and social system. This is absolutely unacceptable. The third disputed element, the high representative imposed amendments to the constitution of Bosnia and Herzegovina entity of federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina, which uses two different censuses one from 1991 and the other from 2013. His decision shows his exact intention to, in cooperation with the neighboring Republic of Croatia, ensure unlimited participation in government for one political party, HDZ, which is a branch of the political party from neighboring Croatia. According to 1991 census, there will be a five minister from ethnic Croats controlled by the HDZ in the government of Bosnia and Herzegovina entity to the Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina. While according to the 2013, there will be three or two less. Therefore, high representative fully consciously kept the ethnic quota from 1991 because it corresponds to wishes of neighboring Croatia. On the other hand, by using 2013 census to fill the upper house of the legislative body called the House of Peoples, he increased the quotas needed to make decisions in favor of those same HDZ controlled ethnic Croats. This made Bosnia and Herzegovina the only country in the world that uses one census for the formation of legislative bodies of the government, another one for the formation of executive bodies of the government. With this, the High Representative brought all citizens to Bosnia and Herzegovina into a state of complete legal uncertainty. In addition, Annex 7 of the Dayton Peace Accord Agreement mandates the return of all displaced persons to their pre-war homes and until this process is completed. The 1991 census must be applied. The reason is very simple. In this way, we will never be possible to legalize the results of ethnic cleansing in Bosnia and Herzegovina in accordance with the judgment of International Criminal Court from Hague. However, with his decision, the High Representative informally declared Annex 7 ended and has formally accepted the results of ethnic cleansing, genocide, and other most terrible war crimes. This is not the job of High Representative, and it's a very harmful to the Dayton Peace Accord. The four Disputed element refers to the fact that the High Representative planned uh, all the, this in a cooperation with the neighboring Republic of Croatia, which the government of the Republic of Croatia itself publicly announced, probably considering itself as a guarantor of the Dayton Agreement, which certainly is not. With this, the High Representative committed, among other things, a criminal offense prescribed in a criminal law of Bosnia and Herzegovina. In addition to high representatives selectively implemented the judgments of Constitutional Court of Bosnia and Herzegovina, i.e., he did not implement the only cons concerning the suppression of discrimination, namely one in the Komšić case, thereby committing another criminal offense of disobeying the decisions of the Constitutional Court of Bosnia and Herzegovina. And finally, in my conclusions, I want to share with you a few important observations. The intention of the High Representative to enable fairer elections with his decision was not realized. On the contrary, it introduced a number of confusing elements and made it difficult to carry out the election process. His second intention, the through interventions into the Constitution of Bosnia and Herzegovina Entity of Federation and the electoral law of Bosnia and Herzegovina, allegedly we wanted to enable unblocking of the process of government formation. Simply put, it is not correct because the unblockings were not removed and in the same time he introduced a significant asymmetry in the formation authorities in two BIH entities where both entities must respect the constitution of Bosnia and Herzegovina. It is not possible to have 
two different ways of government formation in two BIH entities, which are obliged to respect provisions of the Constitution of Bosnia and Herzegovina. By making these changes to election rules immediately before and after the elections, the High Representative violated the Constitution of Bosnia and Herzegovina and the number of international acts incorporated into the legal system of Bosnia and Herzegovina. That is directly not and cannot be his role. Deceiving the voters by changing the election rules after the elections was held in act the High Representative that caused such a destabilization of the situation in Bosnia and Herzegovina, which is manifested by mass protests of citizens in front of the OHR building in Sarajevo, who are dissatisfied and believe that upper had been introduced in their country. In addition, an appeal was submitted to the Constitutional Court of Bosnia and Herzegovina because the High Representative decisions are clearly unconstitutional. Instead, instead of waiting for outcome of this court process, the High Representative puts the pressure on political actors, even on a judicial instances, to implement his decision as soon as possible. This is absolutely unacceptable. For all this reason, it has become more than obvious that the role of current high representative has become destabilizing in favor of one of the neighboring countries as well as some of his international mentors, but to the detriment of the state of Bosnia and Herzegovina and its citizens. I use the opportunity to emphasize that Bosnia and Herzegovina still supports the institution of high representative in accordance with the mandate from Dayton Peace Agreement, but that the activity of its current acting high representative has become a problem that needs to be solved as soon as possible. That is why it's important to say once again that anyone who performs the duties of high representative cannot do unconstitutional things or work outside of his authority, which is unfortunately the case now. This is why I hereby invite you to solve this issue together and help Bosnia and Herzegovina to a democratic path in a coming period. Thank you for your attention. I thank the representative of Bosnia and Herzegovina for their statement. And I give the floor to His Excellency Mr. Silvio Gonzato, Chargé d'Affaires of the Delegation of the European Union to the United Nations. Thank you, Mr. President. I have the honor to speak on behalf of the European Union and its 27 member states. The candidate countries, Turkey, North Macedonia,